Cody and I are super excited to share with you our first Give for Grouch initiative has been completed. That's right. Our first project was a success and it honestly happened a heck of a lot quicker School than you back. and I anticipated. In two weeks time, thanks to your donations, 13 donors contributed $2,000 spread mm. across eight different states. And what's mm. cool about that is we received donations from states that have rough grouse like Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. Ohio, Virginia. But what was really cool and humbling and exciting and encouraging is that we received significant donations from states like Nebraska, and Illinois states that don't have rough grouse, which was really cool because that means that our message is being heard and that you guys care about the future of this species. So we're going to take the $2,000 that we raise and we're going to donate it to John Steigerwald, the forest conservation director in the upper Midwest, Great Lakes region for the Rough Grouse Society, and Larry Partridge, who has found his calling in life. I couldn't think of a more appropriate name for somebody yeah. who, who manages rough grouse. And they're going to take your donations to purchase controlled burn equipment because this fall on rough grouse management areas, they're going to be conducting controlled burns in the Superior National Forest in Michigan and in Iowa. And that's what we wanted to do is take your dollars and put it on boots on the ground type activities instead of just talking about it. This project is going to do a lot, this money, excuse me, is going to do a lot of good for the rough grouse, but we are not done yet. That's right, we're about to write the next chapter in the Gift for Grouse Initiative story and launch our next project in this fundraiser. While our first project was focused on controlled burns, setting back succession, creating a disturbance, this project is about putting something in the ground for rough grouse. Yes, we're gonna take your dollars, as Cody mentioned, and we're going to set that aside, earmarked specifically for planting of trees that are going to benefit the American woodcock, mm. as well as the rough grouse. And along with just buying trees, we're gonna make sure that we get tree shelters for these trees, so that way the survival rates do increase. So we're talking about hawthorn, crab apple, oak, mm. even maybe some conifers and mm, stuff like sure. that. It all depends on what, uh, where the money goes. <laughs> yeah, but that's what we're going to be doing. We're super excited about doing this. It's gonna be very beneficial to those two species and other wildlife. That's right, the Gift for Grouse initiative is off and running. Because mm -hmm. of your donations, our first project was a success and we want to keep this positive momentum moving forward and continue to raise the bar for rough grouse management and conservation. And the process for our next fundraiser is the same as the first. We have a GoFundMe page set up where you guys can go, contribute your donations, and again, the idea for the Gift for Grouse initiative is in the name. We encourage you to donate financially because that is how we can make the biggest impact. But if you're not able to, Give Grouse something. Please consider sharing this video or the GoFundMe link to somebody who may be interested or who is unfamiliar with the project. You guys gave for Rough Grouse in the first project in the Give for Grouse initiative, and we hope that you continue to give for Grouse in the future. That's right. With your help, together, we can ensure that the future of the Rough Grouse drums on.